Millions of Zimbabweans are due to go to the polls on the 31st of July. The election could spell another term for President Robert Mugabe or end his lengthy tenure. But paying for the election is proving a headache. Finance Minister Tendai Biti says so far he has raised $30 million for voter registration and $11 million for materials. He says the situation is grim. We are far away from meeting the, the target. Uh, we don't have the money. And we can't borrow. The market is, we, was crowded out by the 40 million US dollars that we borrowed for the referendum. The United Nations had offered to help, but Zimbabwe turned it down, saying the offer came with unacceptable conditions. It's also scrapped plans to increase taxes, fearing this would drive an already overburdened economy over the edge. BT is now hoping the Southern African development community can come to the rescue. Zimbabwe is speaking to four countries in the region to help out. The minister was not at liberty to divulge which nations he is talking to, but says the indications have been promising. With time fast running out, those promises need to materialize into hard cash very soon. The minister has long bemoaned the lack of revenues from Zimbabwe's diamond industry. He says that money would solve the problem. Diamond exports uh, by the end of uh, June exceeded 300 million US dollars. Uh, half of that belongs to us because we're 50 percent shareholder. That's 150 million US dollars. That's more than what we need given what we've already paid for. Zimbabwe has previously approached South Africa for 100 million dollars. It is not yet clear whether South Africa will help. Farai Mwakutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.